I know this is a very good film for people to be seeing, especially after we've had you know, a crazy year and a lot of horrible things being flown around and said. I know, Mark, that you said that you're kind of against celebrities talking about politics because America just isn't listening. Well, no, I just think people were so surprised um, at the outcome of the election that, you know, Hollywood seems to just be living in a bit of a bubble. I think they're a little disconnected with, with what real people are dealing with and facing. And uh, despite the fact that people may want to buy your album or go to, to your movies, it doesn't mean they're necessarily you're going to listen to who you you tell them to vote for uh, because you don't put food on their table right. and but you, if you have a platform you should definitely put it to good use and I certainly encourage that mm -hmm. it was just that people were so shocked and it was like well you know know what's going on in mm -hmm. middle America it's it's very different from what's happening in Hollywood and I know that this was an important film for you to do why was it so important for you to portray this uh, man this is my home these are my these are you know my friends and family and community um, neighbors um, you know, obviously I was devastated when this happened, but I was also extremely inspired and so proud to be a Bostonian when I saw how people react and responded um, to this horrific tragedy. Why is he the perfect leading man for this film? Why do you think so? Um, you know, I think <clears throat> Mark has, you know, gone through quite a bit. He, he really came up uh, um, in, in a pretty rough environment. And I mean, I the privilege of going to Boston with Mark and having him drive me around that city, which mm. uh, he, he's so connected to, and to see where he came from and how he has uh, really developed an extraordinary character and self-discipline and a you know real ethical code mm. uh, as both a dad and as a man and a businessman. And it, 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 he's, he's a well-rounded Renaissance man, <laughs> and that for me is kind of the ideal guy to you know star in a movie that I'm directing because he understands life. Yeah. He understands the good, the bad, and he's very appreciative and it's a pleasure to work with him. Aww. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You've had a very busy year this year, so I'm assuming that you're pretty excited to wrap up for the holidays. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. You got some I plans am. with the family? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go on a little vacation. What does Christmas look like in the Warburg? Um, hopefully not so many gifts this year. I Aww. think uh, we got to keep it to a minimum and we've got to use that whole good, naughty or nice system. You, know, you guys don't use that in the house? Well, we do, but I think we need to be a little bit more strict. 